this is the home page or the front page of your Canvas course. This orientation video works for Astronomy 101, for Astronomy 100, or whatever astronomy course you have. So the first thing that we do, we note the number here. This number is going to be used by you if you want to refer to this class. Now, this is my name. This is the first thing that you do, which you're doing right now, is the course orientation. So when you need to click on it, you get the video that you're watching now. This is the information about my email, our preferred Canvas inbox, and or you can use my email. This is the link to Google Drive. As soon as you click this link, you get my Google Drive. So you go in here and you open up a folder. You right click and you say new folder. And on the new folder, you put your last name, comma, your first name. And when you're ready to uh, upload something here, you just drag and drop, drag and drop and then you'll find it in your folder. But you have to open your folder here first and then you drag and drop here. You drag and drop, put it anywhere in this field and you have it in your folder. Next you have click me to the lectures. So these are the lectures that I made for you. If you click this you get to your lectures and the class is in three parts part one part two and part three and if you click here you can see all the lectures here's the introduction to astronomy this is the celestial sphere introduction then we get more celestial sphere yet more celestial sphere then we get to the equinoxes eclipses precession and the moon and so on so you watch two videos like this every week. Now let's get back to the home page again. Here you have a syllabus quiz. So if you click on the syllabus quiz, you can take the syllabus quiz. It just asks you some question regarding your syllabus. And it's zero points. And these are the questions that you should know the answers to, like what time is your office hour or what have you so you go in here and you check your office hours you answer all these questions that way I would know that you are actually in the class and using this now before you come here and you take your syllabus quiz most likely you want to look at the syllabus so if you click on the syllabus here you can see your syllabus you can read it it's pretty intense syllabus don't be fooled. It's just for your information. It helps you. This is how the grading is done. This is all the course information. So like as an example, when do you study these modules and you take your exam. So you take these modules and you open up your exam on this date and so on. And then there's a second part, you take your second exam, you take your third exam, which is your last exam. I'll go back to the home page again. This time, I'm not going to click on Take Me to the Lectures, which is in the very top of what we call Modules. If I click anywhere here, I will go to the Modules. But I'd like to bring to your attention that the exams open up on a certain date and they close on a certain date. Normally they open up, as an example, March 11th opens up at midnight and then it closes on March the 14th at midnight again. Now your assignments are open but they will close. Your assignment part ones, they're all closed on March 14th your second assignments close on the 7th of May and so on. Of course these dates are not the same for all my classes so each one has a different date. So if I click here I will go to all the modules. So this module here is your course orientation modules. You can see all the information you need to know about the course here 
and then we get to introduction to astronomy so this is actual astronomy these are from a book I have taken sections of the book and this is free to you you don't need to buy a book you just use these now as you go down you will see assignments assignments part one assignments part one so every time you finish reading or watching a lecture regarding introduction to astronomy you come here and you take these assignments or homeworks as we go down to the module one there is more information written for you but these are all your assignments so uh, you do all your assignments once you're done with your lectures and also there's some videos here each module has some help videos so when you click it you'll see a bunch of videos that are made for you you can watch these videos before you take the exam or before you do the assignments so you'll be all ready for them each module has its own help videos so these are all the help videos for module one some of these are actually assignments when you do the assignments, some of these videos have been turned into assignments. So now, try to do it the way I showed you. If you just go to assignments, you will see a bunch of assignments here. And it's best not to do the assignments this way. It's best to actually go to the modules and you follow from the lecture. You go to your information here then you do your help videos and then your assignments eventually there will be an exam when the exam comes up under your lecture videos I also have a lecture to help you with the exams so if you go down here the very last video is your exam help. So this is a review for your exam one. When you're ready to take your exam, you just go click on the quizzes and your exam will be ready for you. Now there is one more. Um, once I click on quizzes, there is a quiz that Apple computer owners should try and that's testing the display of the computer so when you click here there's a zero point assignment and then when you do it it gives you a little picture these pictures are sometimes in your exams you want to make sure that these pictures are visible if you can see the picture then you're good if you don't see the picture please come to my office hour and I'll help you good luck with the course